guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm be doing a dollar store DIY. So not everything is from the Dollar Tree. Most of it is. Some's from Walmart and some is actually from Dollar General. I picked up these really cute cow and pig little like hangers or decor pieces and I was gonna stick them in my three tier tray and then it'd be like way too big. So I've been sitting on these for a little while. I just actually probably got them like maybe a month ago. So I haven't had them for that long. So you might still be able to find them at Dollar General. But I'm gonna be making some really cute like wall hangers. I decided to put flowers in these, but you can put fruit in these, you can put whatever in these. And anyways, I'm gonna show you how I made them. It's super simple, super easy, and super adorable. So let's get started. First thing you'll start with is these signs from the Dollar Tree. I'm just taking the back side and painting it all white. I did have to sand down some of the stickers because I just couldn't get them off, but sanding worked just fine. So I'm just using the Waverly chalk paint in white and I did two coats just to cover it completely white. What's it like? And then while I wait for the signs to dry, I'm just going to take these baskets from the Dollar Tree. They come in a three pack and I'm just going to dry brush with the Waverly chalk paint in white. And the best thing about this part is that these are little plastic baskets. So if you do mess up on the paint, a damp rag will just take this right off. So if you don't want the paint in certain areas or you put too much on there, it comes off so easy. And I thought this was so nice. So if you did mess up, you could just fix it right away without getting too upset about it. But I did two of these baskets. Like I said, I'm doing two signs. And then these baskets were really quick to dry and this is what it looked like when everything was painted and dry. I think these look super, super cute. And then and now that my signs are dry, I'm just gonna take a ruler and a Sharpie and I'm just gonna make the back side of these look shiplap. I love this technique, it's super easy and it really does look like shiplap on anything. I think it's super easy and super cute. What's it like to be the one that he comes to when he wants to dance in? I, I, I wonder. And then now I'm just gonna take this Waverly Wax in the antique and I'm just gonna dry brush it along the lines that I made and I just think this gives it just a little bit more rustic feel and I barely put any on the brush and I just kind of tapped it so it would almost be there was nothing on there but I thought this just gave it a little bit of extra and I think this turned out really good. And then I just did the same exact thing to the second one of these boards. I left the twine on the top because I thought I would be able to paint around it but I just painted all over it so I did end up replacing the twine on the top although I didn't show that in the video. And then I got these little cute things from Dollar General. They were only a dollar a piece. I thought this would look really cute to the top of these signs. So I'm just going to take some hot glue and then just put these right on the top. I did one of the cows and then one of the pig on the other sign. And then I'm just going to attach the basket below with some hot glue. I did end up adding some extra hot glue along the top of the basket. Definitely recommend some E6000 as well because it did come off. And then I had to re-glue the baskets, but that was okay. It was my fault. I always think that hot glue will work for everything. And then once I added the flowers at the end, the, the basket fell off. So like I said, I did have to re-glue it. So there's my mistake. So don't do what I did. <laughs> and then these signs actually only cost $3 if you don't count the flowers. I got these from the Dollar Tree and then I got the eucalyptus from Walmart for 97 cents and the little flower arrangements aren't perfect because I wasn't sure if this is exactly what I wanted inside of them and then in the end I did and I did rearrange these a little bit nicer um, so they did turn out a lot better but you guys that's it for the video I hope you enjoyed it and if you liked it please make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and I will see you all in the next one bye I